Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a quick setup guide for the Hopog HDP VR and I'll show you a quick demonstration as well. Now, I'm going to be connecting this to a PC on a Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Now, very easy to set up. At the bottom, At the bottom row here, we have the Xbox component cables coming into here. So basically, that is just a grey wire coming from straight from the Xbox, which is sitting over the side. Just your standard AV cable that you get, and at the top, we're using the cables that have been provided by Hophog and very easy to set up they're all colour coded and they're also labelled as well like there it says audio it even tells you that's the output, that's the input and the bottom tells you the different colour and settings so it is very easy to set up as long as you put the put them in the right place you will then need to connect the USB wire into any available USB slot in, into your PC or if you're using a Mac then into your Mac and you've got your power cable and you've got other uh, optional extras as well as for the IR transmitter and the optical out for the audio I won't be using them as I don't really need to as I'm just using it just to capture the video from the Xbox. Now what you do now is insert the CD that you get with your Hophog and you have auto run loading up CD and just let it load up set up. And that's Windows 7. Yep. Just asking for permission there with all that security Windows 7 has. Typical. choose your language and it's two easy simple steps very easy step first step install the drivers and second step install the software once you've completed those you simply exit this and I won't be doing that because I already installed this so there's no point in me reinstalling that you have a little de desktop icon total media extreme There you go. Now click on record video. And now we shall press the power button. And it has picked it up. So as you can see that was very straightforward, very easy, doesn't doesn't take long. There are some options there you can choose. By settings, format settings, and you can select what it is. It's PlayStation 3, AVC HD, Xbox 360. Another thing you want to make sure that you do if you are using the Hopeg HD PVR device is click on format settings. And you want to change the bitrate, basically make it better. So just increase it right to the end, up to 13.5 and keep it constant and there are some other options there as well if you like to use such as boost analog audio input level disabling blink LEDs etc just hit ok now with that the quality will be much much better so we're just going to quickly load up this game and I'll show you the results through the file that it records again guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions or 
any problems running this device then please do get in touch and I'll try my best to help you out.